finding myself sometimes going through the counselor to counselor. Doctors and their clients at Mosaic Community Services are tired of dealing with the organization's mixed paper and electronic medical record system, saying it causes chaos and inefficiencies. Everyone is trying to do their thing, and in doing their thing, sometimes the big picture gets, you know, some of the way. The federal government has a $27 billion program that encourages doctors, clinics, and hospitals to switch to electronic health records through Barack Obama's 2009 economic stimulus, but it excludes most staff that work at places like Mosaic. It Mosaic is a behavioral health system that provides employment, housing, and clinical services to clients throughout the Baltimore area who have mental illness or substance abuse disorders. Getting access to the stimulus funding would help clinics like Mosaic, which wants to invest in a better electronic medical record system, but just can't afford it. It's hard to take money if you're using to make sure you have roofs that aren't leaking, um, toilets that are working, and ensuring safe buildings, and divert those funds for electronic health records. Behavioral health providers believe they can benefit from electronic health records. Advocates are trying to push laws that would include them in the stimulus program. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse has introduced the Behavioral Health Information Technology Act. It is a bipartisan piece of legislation. So while Senator Whitehouse is our lead uh, Democrat, Susan Collins from uh, Maine is our, uh, is our Republican co-sponsor. But efforts in previous Congresses have gone nowhere. Some lawmakers believe this isn't the time for government to be spending more. I put forward a week ago last Monday nine trillion dollars in potential cuts. Now I know, I know people aren't all going to agree with me, but every one of these cuts is backed up with a government study that says what we're doing in these programs aren't effective. But advocates argue that overall health care costs will go down if health records included a patient's full medical profile, physical and emotional health information. People with behavioral health problems also tend to have serious physical health problems. We see health information technology as a means of helping us clinically manage the day-to-day -day reality of the patients that we see. Meanwhile, in nearby Washington, D.C., the McClendon Center, another behavioral health clinic, has seen the benefits of switching to electronic health records that meet their needs. It's difficult to overemphasize uh, the degree to which this kind of system is Most of our providers are not eligible to receive this, this reimbursement. As advocates try to convince a bitterly divided Congress that this is worthy of support on both sides of the aisle, groups like Mosaic are struggling to keep up. They have the potential of being a very well orchestrated environment where I, as a person with mental illness, can get the help that they need.